Hey friends, welcome to a video here of a, a vlog. Um, this is going to be more of a real talk kind of video. Um, I want to update you guys on what's been going on, why I didn't upload last week, uh, just my personal life, letting you guys, you know, opening up this door, letting you guys come in. Um, so I didn't upload Monday because I worked last weekend, so I didn't really have much time to record, and I knew that the next Minecraft episode I wanted to record was gonna be kind of long, so I didn't record because I didn't want to. I didn't want to just throw out a video just to throw a video out. So I opted not to record, and that's what I did. I, I stand behind what I did, but um, I meant to do a vlog on Wednesday, but come Wednesday I was at work around seven in the morning, I believe it was. I got a text from my mom that said, "Call me nine one one." So I called my, which means it's an emergency, call it instantly. So I went to the bathroom at work and I called and, um, <laughs> those of you that know me know that I have tattoos. Now the one tattoo that is extremely special to me is this one, Let's see, is this one right here. It's a cross with a heart in the middle. Um, I'm not a very religious person. This cross means something to me different than it means to religious people. Uh, or maybe not, I don't know, but it means something different to me than what it normally would a person. Um, that cross means to me is that my grandfather, who is a, one of the best men that I know, he's such a good man. Um, ever since I was little, I've only ever seen him mad one time my whole life. I'm 24. He doesn't get mad. Um, so I got this tattoo in memory of him because, like I said, he is one of the, the greatest men that I know next to my dad. Um, so... I got a call from my mom saying that uh, your grandfather had a severe stroke. He's in the hospital. So I left work. Um, I went and visited him. When I went and visited him, he could barely talk. His whole left side was droopy, as happens during a stroke. Um, <laughs> and it just sucked. And the first thought that ran through my head was this this amazing person who would do anything to help anybody. He doesn't know you, but he would help you if you needed help because that's the kind of person he is. Um, so... My first worry was that he's not going to be himself because I, I know people that have had strokes and uh, sometimes, you know, when you have a severe stroke, you come out of it and you're not the same person. You know, your, your personality is different. You forget things. You don't remember who you, the things that you've done. And uh, it's just, it's just crazy to me. It was a very eye-opening experience, um, you know, because it happened Wednesday. On Sunday, he was texting me about football and saying that, um, like, just ragging on the Ravens and ragging on the Steelers and ragging his team's Redskins. So, you know, we were just talking, chit-chatting back and forth as we usually do on Sundays because we, we don't watch football together, but he watches at his house, I watch at my house, and we just text the whole time about plays that are going on and everything. So it's just crazy to me that, you know, Sunday he was perfectly fine himself, and then four days later, bam, he's in the emergency room. I'm not going to get any... Four days later, he's in the emergency room in critical condition. Um, so, you know, it, it's kind of, it's really crazy to me how your life, like, basically, don't take anything for granted, guys. Um, say you have a parent that may maybe made you mad because of something they did, whether it's, you know, could have cheated on your dad, cheated on your mom. Regardless, you know, there's still that person that loved you your whole life. So... What I'm trying to say is no matter what the circumstances are, guys, don't take anything for granted because things can flip like that. Now, they're thinking that he might make a full recovery with some uh, memory loss, which is going to be sucky. But right now, I mean, he can move his left arm, his left leg. He can move, you know, he can smile a good bit. It's just, I don't know. It, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not looking for sympathy here either. That's not what this is about. I'm not asking you guys to feel bad for me, to tell me that you're sorry. I'm not asking for that. I'm not asking for anything. I'm just updating you on my life and I'm telling you guys, don't take anything for granted. That person, that grandparent of yours that you haven't seen in a while, and you're like, well, you know, I'll see him at Christmas. Don't wait till Christmas, guys. Just go see them now because you don't know in a day or two they couldn't they could be a complete different person. Uh, due to a medical condition or anything really. I mean, I guess anything can certainly happen. So guys don't take nothing for granted. If you have a grandparent that you haven't seen in a month, go visit them. Just say hi. See how they're doing. It, it means the world to them, even though it may not. Um, so I've spent the last few days in and out of the hospital. I recorded a clip from the hospital. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to include it. I'll have to watch it back and see. 
I just don't know. It's not. It's nothing bad. You don't see nothing bad. It's a dark room. It's just my grandfather talking. He he still has some of his funny personality, but he's just not the same. Um, but like I said, guys, just if you have a parent you haven't seen, a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, someone that you know you should generally be close to, guys, a friend even. Maybe maybe you and a friend have kind of lost contact. Do your part. Message them and say hello. Ask them how they're doing. Don't don't wait for them to get a hold of you guys because that they may never come. Just just say hi. See how they're doing. But um, I just want to update you guys again. I'm not looking for sympathy. That's not what this is about whatsoever, guys. So please, please, please don't take it that way. Just wanted to up update you on why I didn't upload any videos last week. I spent a good bit of time recording today and yesterday. Today is Monday the 14th. I spent a good bit of time recording yesterday. I got... Um, my RuneScape videos, I think I got four weeks of RuneScape videos recorded, so I'm good on Fridays. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with them. I'm thinking maybe uh, some Call of Duty live commentary is probably that, you know, that's generally the easiest thing for me to do. Um, I'm going to try to stream a little bit, RuneScape, Minecraft, all that stuff here and there. So guys, check out my Twitch channel to stay, stay involved there. Um, but guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Pikachu, Pikachu in, a, <laughs> in a basket of wine. Um... Guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Um, you guys are awesome. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys.